Welcome problem solving fans to another problem of the day and this one is all about units and rectangles and our knowledge of meters and centimeters. Now remember that in one meter there is 100 centimeters. Now that fact is going to be crucial for us to answer this question. So we get told that there are two identical rectangles. The word identical is just a posh word for me, they are exactly the same. So here are two exactly the same rectangles, the same size. And we get told that the total distance, so the total distance all the way across the two rectangles is three meters, eight centimeters. Now, first thing to notice there is we've got mixed units. We've got meters and centimeters. So what we should do really is just find that as a distance just in centimeters. Well, three meters is 300 centimeters because one meter is 100 centimeters, so two meters is 200 centimeters, so three meters is 300 centimeters. So 300 centimeters plus an extra eight centimeters is 308 centimeters. So the total distance all the way across is 308 centimeters. Now what we need to do is split this in half. So the easiest way to do this is to do a little bus shelter. 308 divided by 2. 2's into 3 goes once, remainder 1. And that now makes 10. 2's into 10 goes 5 times. And 2's into 8 goes 4 times. So the length of one of the rectangles must be this 154. So this rectangle is 154 centimeters and because they are identical the other rectangle would also be 154 centimeters you could have worked that out without doing a bus shelter some people may have been able to do that in their heads they could have said because we're halving it splitting it in half we could have said half of 300 is 150 and half of the 8 is 4 Add the two together, 150 plus 4 still gives you 154. So your final answer, the length of one of the rectangles is 154 centimetres.